Here, use this one. It's wrong. What are you talking about? It's wrong. Don't mess with me, Elias. The queen drew two maps, one leading to the tower, and the other one was false. The real one was destroyed, so I made one from the book myself. Elias, run! Drake, go get him! Go now! Bee and Liam continued with the quiet prowess with which they used to walk in the forests surrounding their own village. They moved gracefully along the path as creatures who had walked it many times before. Liam, if you had found the tower, then why were you still wandering? I did find the tower, but there was no way in. Bee had so many questions that she did not know where to begin. Now that she had found her friend, she was ready to return to the safety of their home. Now that we are both safe, can we please return home? I know that you believe the journey has come to an end, but in truth it is just beginning. I am glad that you have found me, Bee, but you should not have come all the way out here. There are many dangers. Stay here. I'm going to run up ahead a distance and check that the path is clear for us to continue. Liam ran out of Bee's sight, leaving her alone once again. It wasn't long before she heard a familiar voice. Seems like you have lost your way again, Bee. Where has your friend gone off to? And why has he left you behind? Be gone, Crow. I know what you did, and you are certainly no friend. Your friend has taken the map, leaving you vulnerable once again, Bee. Ah! 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 I will not miss a second time, Crow. I will see you again. With that, the crow took flight and disappeared into the distance. Further up the trail, Bee and Liam came to a grouping of boulders. They climbed over and lowered themselves into a mysterious chasm. Bee noticed the light dimming. She slid further down the rocks. She eventually landed on a soft patch of springy grass. Ahead of her, she saw a pale green light shining through a wall of ivy. It is remarkable here. Come on. Bee pushed her way through the ivy wall. Her eyes narrowed as sunlight suddenly filled the air around her. What is this place? This, Bee, is the Lost Tower. The legends that have been spoken within our village are true. If the legends are true, then that means there truly is an heir to the throne of Gunair. That is why I cannot go home, B. I am the heir. Which would mean that there is hope to one day revive the kingdom. Who I am and where I came from. Why my parents left me in the safe city. The answers to all these questions are locked within that tower. Then we must find a way in. That is where I fear I have failed. For I have tried and tried, but I still do not know how to enter. I am failing, B. Our parents fought so that we might have a chance to live in peace, not in fear or burdened with guilt. A single tear fell from Liam's cheek and landed on the map. The tear seeped into the parchment, drawing B's attention. As the tiny drop expanded across the page, it revealed words they had not yet seen. Liam, look! Liam studied the map as B read the words across its face. Hands together where the stone heirs lie, turns the pillar to mark the kingdom's rise. Purity of the heir's heart will unlock the key to the kingdom's destiny. What does that mean? B walked around the tower, allowing her hand to drag across the rough texture of its stones. Suddenly, she stopped. Liam, look at this! B showed Liam a hollowed part of one of the stones. She brushed away dirt from the face of the stone. Liam studied the engraving in the stone. The crest! 
Liam pushed the stone with all his might, but nothing happened. Hands together where the stone heirs lie. Hands! It means more than one. B ran around the tower, looking closely at each stone. B, What are you doing? Stay over there. Wait for my signal. B stopped at a stone on the other side of the tower. She could make out the faint engraving of a second crest. She placed both hands on the stone and steadied her footing. Liam, on my count, push on the stone with all of your strength. Ready? One, two, three. B and Liam pushed on the stones and the ground beneath them began to shake. The stones trembled and the tower began to rotate. Liam called out to B. B, what's happening? B stepped back in silence, watching as some of the stones began to protrude outward, forming a pattern. The tower continued to turn and the earth moved so violently that the two struggled to keep their footing. Then, as suddenly as it all began, the shaking ceased. Do not like her. What are you talking about? She's tricked you. We're just trying to help you. <laughs>